Okay, so let's have a look at uh, GB Studio, which is a um, free game engine you can download right now. The link is down below. So let's click on add and let's add a new scene. And uh, let me just change the background there. That's just uh, a background. Let me select the uh, placeholder and press play. Okay. That is my character. This is what you get by default. Actually, I'm kind of lying here. Uh, by default, this the uh, star player is an arrow, which is this one here. Let me play that back again. There's your arrow, which we can replace by any of these sprites. Okay. Let me select the. Uh, let me see who I'm, I'm going to use uh, this one here. Press play again. And there is my character. Now, right now, um, nothing happens here, so we are going to make something happen. Okay, so to make things happen, we need to add more actors. Place another actor here. And. Um, we don't want it to be a static, we want it to be an actor. And uh, it's gonna be some old lady. Okay. Oh, that's not the older lady. Anyways, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Let me just uh, press play here. And there is our actress or actor. Same thing. Now if you press J. Uh, she will automatically turn towards you. Pretty good for making a game like Undertale. Okay, so let me just add a script to this. Alright, so select her and let's add a new event. Uh, let's try something for her to talk. Uh, I think it's called uh, text dialogue. And she's going to say, hi there. This is a cool game engine they got the 8 there from the high and let's press play maximize this and let's talk to her press J there we go that seems to work fine uh, let's say for example this lady is looking for something Okay, let's um, add a new um, actor and uh, let's select something. Uh, I guess we can leave that uh, the arrow there or the spaceship. Okay, let's use the spaceship. Place the spaceship over here and um, let's change here. Um, let me just delete this here. Delete event and let me add an if statement. If, if something is true we want this to be a um, global um, variable you can rename this uh, to whatever you want but let's just leave that for now so if the variable is set to true um, we can add text okay dialogue and it's gonna say thank you for Finding my ship. Else is going to say uh, text. Else she's going to say, um, "Have you seen? Oh my god! Have you seen my ship or spaceship? Spaceship. The spaceship. There we go." So let me run this now. By default, that's going to be set to not true. Now it's set to false. So when I press J, she's going to say, she's going to say, um, have you seen my ship? Our spaceship. Now if we touch the um, spaceship, we can uh, uh, change the variable. Okay, add a new event. It's gonna be um, so. Scroll down here, 
and that we're going to change a variable. Uh, let's set um, something to through. Oh, true. Okay, I added an extra H there. Uh, we're gonna set the uh, zero zero variable to through. Okay, and if that happens, we can um, hide the spaceship or hide the actor. And let's try it out. Let me uh, maximize this. Walk up to the spaceship and press the uh, the action button that hides our actor or deletes it, whatever. And now she's going to be very happy we found her spaceship. Thank you for finding my uh, my ship. Okay, so I, what do I get? Like, like what the hell? Okay, so you can probably I don't know. I could be like a key or something, or maybe she lets you um, into. Uh, I don't know the next level so let me show you how to add levels you simply uh, go to scene and add another scene and you can change the background this will be scene 2 let me change the uh, the background here to something else maybe it's like a house or something move the uh, everything around there is a spaceship there uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking what we can do is uh, actually put the spaceship over here and uh, place this lady here and we start um, here. Let me uh, change the initial direction. So now um, the spaceship is on scene 2. Let me just run this and see the kind of problems we're facing right now okay we can uh, talk to this lady here press j have you seen my spaceship okay well like okay it's in the next level but we have no way to get to the uh, next level so we need to create some sort of bridge there okay so back to add and uh, we're going to add a trigger we're gonna place it uh, down here and uh, let's add an event it's gonna be a change scene, I believe, believe it's called. Okay, we want to um, start right here. And let's try it out. Okay, let's go talk to Mrs. Grumpy over here. Have you seen my ship? And you're like, uh, no. Okay, so now we are in uh, scene two there. We should be facing uh, up, not down. Okay, so press the, the up direction there. And let's try this again. My example is called like and subscribe with notifications. Okay, if you haven't done so, make sure you do that right now. So that's fine there now. We grab the spaceship and we have one little problem right now. We can't come back to uh, scene one. So let's um, close that and let's add another trigger. Place the trigger here. Add an event and it's going to be change scene. Just like that. And change to um, um, scene one. Make it look like we're coming from the door there. Make sure you use the up um, direction, the initial direction, and uh, that, sh that, sh that, sh that should be it. Okay, so there we go. Walk up to uh, our NPC there. And she wants a spaceship, obviously. Let's um, go get it. Grab the spaceship. And come back. Now she be super happy. Thank you for finding my spaceship. Okay, so what do I get? What do I get? Uh, when that happens, we can probably make her give you something. Maybe it's something could appear in the middle of the screen there, like a key or something. Um, uh, let's place something there. Another actor right here in the middle. And. Um, Change this. Uh, what can it be? Do we have keys here or something? If you don't have a key or or something, you can you can make one in Photoshop. 
Uh, but maybe she can give you a chest. There we go. That, that, that will be your reward. So when the uh, game first start, we can um, hide this. Just hide it. And it won't be there. And it won't even have a collision. Okay, so you actually have to go get the um, uh, the spaceship. So she gives you that uh, reward. Okay, the reward could be like, I don't know, like turning on a variable for a key or something. I don't, I don't know. It could be anything. It could be Pandora's box for what I know. Okay, so basically, let's click on here and um, on update if that variable is set to, um, I don't know, like true. If the variable is true. Uh, we can um, unhide an object. Okay. Uh, I think uh, actor, let me just type actor here. Actor show. I think I can just press show. Show actor. And uh, select the actor. It's gonna be the uh, the chest. And I mean, we could hide it if we wanted to, but it's already hidden, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. So, me, yeah. Uh, talk to this lady again she's going to say the exact same thing and if she says something else I'll be kind of scared all right let's grab this pea sheep and uh, you can add a sound to that by the way okay now let's uh thank you for bringing back the spaceship and oh my god it did not appear <laughs> what happened all right okay so um the variable has to be global. Okay, that is set to true. That should work. I, unless that I set that to um, local. Okay, I think that's what I did. So let me just try that again. Try this again. Okay, have you seen my spaceship? Grab the spaceship again. Okay, so th then <laughs> we have a problem. This is this is an update, okay, which means that it's al always happening. Okay, let me just um, delete that there and let's do it on interact, okay? Because on update means that it's happening all the time. Cancel. Okay, so it will be on interact. So it should be here under "Thank you for finding my spaceship." So um, add event which is going to be show show actor and it's going to be the uh, the chest i think i'm overcomplicating things here when this game engine is extremely simple okay so talk to this lady again grab the spaceship And this time she's going to give us a chest. Da -da -da. Now there is no action for the chest. And we could, I don't know, we could probably push the, the, the chest or something and a door opens or something like that. Or we can simply open the chest and that's the end of the level or something like that. Alright guys, so there, so there you go. So something simple to start experimenting with... Um, GB Studio. Uh, I will post more um, examples in the future. Actually, I should probably open a new channel for this game engine because it seems pretty, pretty cool. So one more thing. Uh, you notice that you can get out of the screen. You can actually click here. And uh, let me just uh, zoom in a little more. And this allows you to, se uh, to set um, boundaries okay, for your sprites. So that way your um, characters uh, won't be able to wander off. Do it for these two. Oops. So now if you press play, um, the player won't be able to get out. Okay, let me just uh, try that out now. Super perfect pixel collision. I think we should 
make that a little lower there. All right, guys, so don't forget to um, smack the like button down below and subscribe with notifications. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video.